Hello YouTube, welcome back to Learning Life and Loving Ring of Scanners. Hello, welcome to Tommy's video on talking about the top five things on, on the things that he has learned about the different Ring of Scanner stuff that the Bahamas and Bimini Bahamas both have which is, I think, is really different about the entire thing. So, I hope you guys are ready because I am. Please hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell, so I will let you go. I'll tell you guys about the next video. Have a great day. So, so the first tip that... I would like to tell you guys is um, it's like always have at least one excursion for each cruise because because having one excursion can save you guys a lot of time from like picking out one. Now, another thing I um, kind of like, I did me a trip to Bimini and I was there for two days. So luckily enough, we did us a boat tour, which showed the famous homes and houses around there, which I thought, which was really interesting by all means. So, so also looking around like at these several different places that is like on my itinerary coming up for this upcoming trip to Florida and also going on a cruise during this trip. So, so a couple things that I have learned so the first thing that I learned is that whenever you guys get on like a carnival cruise ship, like you guys can take a Rio skier with you. That is not a different question or not. All right. Now, another thing is trying to figure out like what kind of frequencies do they use? Like what kind of different areas do they use so you guys can listen to it? So the first thing that I think which is really, really interesting about the entire thing is that the first thing that I, I imagine that the people might have to go for, it's like whenever you guys get to the the Bahamas and you guys go around and like listening to their radio traffic like let's just say for instance you guys are going up there to Atlantis and you guys are thinking that there is not that much enhanced privacy well just to let you guys know most of that country uses a Project 25 Phase 1 or Phase 2 system. Which I think is really kind of interesting about that. Now, another thing is like whenever I went to Bermuda, okay, and like or enough, the radio traffic there, they had so much and I mean so much like different areas which is like so very different in like that country because because I've never been there and luckily enough Bermuda had a really good news station Now, there are going to be some counties, just to let you guys know. Now, there is going to be some counties 
that you guys can listen to like no matter what, okay? So the counties go in double, okay? So the first hotel, which, um, which, which this hotel's good for family and it's good for nature and it's also good, good for different people. So the first hotel, some that I, I recommend is that you guys, you guys go and look around, like at the different areas that Bermuda has. Now, luckily enough, we ate all of our food on the cruise ship. Now, luckily enough, I'm getting excited and getting thrilled about my entire cruise ship journey because, because the next two days, so, so on the 30th and 31st, I'm going to be in inside inside like the area of of the radio frequency areas that they have and also and also like like looking around at so many like different areas like the first area I kind of understand okay because because the first area honestly has the bestest contact for renowned communication, okay? So also, like if I turn you guys around, this right here is like what a hotel room looks like in Korea, okay? So you guys have your bed, you guys have your your TV, you guys have a desk to put your luggage, and you also got something like that, which logs into Google, which I think is really kind of interesting. Now, another thing which I think is really kind of interesting, by all means, this radio, uh, this radio system that I'm going to be listening to, like whenever I'm on the cruise, I'm going to be listening to most of the ship's communication, okay? Now, just to give you guys a little bit of background information on me, okay? Since probably you guys have not heard that I'm the biggest radio scanner fan in my area so the first thing so the first thing that that i mostly listen to which is the different areas in different research like the different research areas like i i just generally just think about the radio scanner like walking around like at the different places. And also another thing, like I see a lot of places carry these little radios, okay? Now, now, now Kroger uses the Kroger radio. Sam's Club uses like the touch on cell phones. Now, Now, a, another thing which I think is really kind of interesting about the entire thing is that there are four different feeds that you guys can go, like, listen to. So the first feed is, it's like business. Second is attractions. Third is retail. Fourth is lodging, and fifth is probably public safety, because a lot of those methods are like really good for people to listen to. Okay. 
So some that I recommend, and this is just a thing that I recommend. So, so also, um, so also I just recommend you guys just think about you guys be careful like wherever you guys go. Now, another place, now another place where I think the radio scanners would be the best option would be like, like while well, you guys are like riding around in Bermuda and also riding around like on a boat because boat communication is well aware of like when you guys are like in the sea in the areas so so just to let you guys know like what i talked about so far first one i talked about is the radio frequencies that i recommend that you guys use on the cruise ship second one it's like a little bit of background history. Third are the different types of frequencies you guys can listen to. Fourth is the different areas that make radio scanners alike. And five, I talked about retail radios. Now, now I'm going to tell you guys an extra tip. All right, and an extra thing about me. Now, I don't transmit on any of my radios except for FRS and GMRS. And also, I sometimes listen to the, the radio scanner on my DMR radio, like whenever I'm up there in like Bloomington, like whenever I'm up there in that area. I use that communication as a method to help out my local area. All right, guys, that's it. I don't want to keep you guys here too long. Um, so today's word of advice, have a, um, if you guys get mad, and if you guys get scared of anything, like, like if you guys get scared, because you guys don't like the sea, just think the cruise ship as like a floating hotel. All right guys, that's it. Have a great day. YouTube, I will see you guys back here tomorrow.